Okay, wonderful. Let's do one of these um, uh, balanced chemical equation and then do grams to grams, mass to mass, right? Yeah. So, uh, what does this one say? It says, what is the mass of calcium phosphate that can be prepared from 1.78 grams of sodium phosphate? And then it gives us the equation, but it doesn't give us a balanced equation, no. okay? So what we need to do first is to balance the equation, okay? So what did we say? We've got three sodiums here, only one here. So we do a three there, right? So that's going to give us OHs of three, and we have two OHs here. So we can't have that, right? So uh, the three over there, because two and three um, don't divide evenly into each other, right? So when we do that, we're going to have to put a 3 there, and that's going to give us 2 times 3 is 6, right? So we come over here and put a 6 there. That's going to give us 6 OHs there, right? And we have 6 sodiums now, but if we look over here, we've only got 3. So we're going to want to put a 2 there. That makes sense, right? So 2 times 3 is 6, 6, so we're cool with our sodium. Phosphate, PO4, remember, is all phosphate, okay? So we got two of those, and look over here, we've got two of those, so that's good. And then the last thing is calcium, we've got three of those, and three of those, okay? So we good with the balancing of the equation? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So the next thing we're going to have to do, remember, we have to use that equation to get the mole-to-mole -mole ratio of these two things, right? And it asked us, I was nice enough to us so we don't have to keep going back. It asked us to do calcium phosphate to sodium phosphate, okay? So let's look at that mole ratio, and it's up here, right? We've got two moles of sodium phosphate for every, how many moles? Three. Just one mole, one mole, because remember, there's an implied one, okay? It's not three, because yeah. that doesn't tell, that, does, that just tells you how many calcium atoms, right? We're talking about the whole, whole thing, okay. okay? So where does the, the molar ratio come from? It's from the, what are these things called? The coefficients. Coefficients, okay? So what do we have? We have a two, two to, one. to one mole ratio, okay? So let's write that down somewhere, okay? So let's say... Because that's going to be our conversion factor, remember? Yeah, for the okay? second part. Yeah, for the second part. Very good, yeah. Okay, so let's write it down. So for every two moles of Na3PO4, we've got that equals one mole of Ca3PO4. Two. Okay? That makes sense, right? Okay, wonderful. Um, but the problem is, is that gives us in grams. Okay, and to convert grams to moles, we need to use the molar mass, right? Yes. Remember the molar mass. Yes. So, what do we have to do? Well, we gotta get the molar mass of sodium phosphate, and it doesn't give us to us, so we're gonna have to figure that out, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's where we go to the periodic table, and we look up sodium, it says 22.99, and we look up here, we've got three of them, right? So three sodiums in every sodium phosphate, so we multiply that by three, and then add that to, well, we've how many phosphorus? Just one, one, right? So we look over here, um, 30.97 plus 30.97. Okay, and then how many oxygens do we have? Four. Four of them. So we're going to add that to four times 16.00. Okay, so the number I get Hopefully it's the same number you get, okay? So I'm going, I want you to calculate it at the same time. If we get different numbers, then it's your calculations that that's where you're having a problem, okay? Okay. So, the number I got is 163.94 grams of sodium phosphate. Yeah, I got 163.97. Per mole. Here, we'll say grams per mole of sodium phosphate. That's an even better way to say it. Grams per mole of sodium phosphate. Did you get that same number there? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So, look what we could do now. If we flip this thing over, right, we can 
can use that conversion factor here. In fact, let's erase this to make it look a little bit nicer for us, if I can find my eraser. So instead of doing that, we'll say for one mole, right, Na3PO4, right, Na3PO4. So if we flip this thing over, right, what do we have? We could put one mm -hmm. mole up here and that many the grams, grams down the there, right? To so, cancel out. Yeah, so yeah. that'll cancel out grams of sodium phosphate. calcium phosphate. So that's not the same thing as the number of moles of sodium phosphate. But what's cool is we can take this number of moles of sodium phosphate and get the number of moles of calcium phosphate, right? Yes. How do we do that? That is for the two. From that conversion factor up there that we do. Very good, right? Okay, so what are we going to put on the bottom here? The two moles. The two moles because that's sodium the sodium phosphate. phosphate. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so you get the process. I, oh, think yeah, it, I think it's just you put plug something wrong in your calculator. And I'll bet you it's even, it's like, you're, if you put parentheses around the right things and the, or the wrong things, your calculator's going to think yeah, differently yeah. than what you think, you know? So we'll just figure that out. Like how you're plugging it in and then get that all straightened. So we cancel, cancel, and now we're at moles of calcium phosphate. Remember, we want grams of calcium phosphate, so in order to do that, we need the molar okay, mass, the right? Mass. Okay. So let's go and do that again. So we have three calciums. Calcium is 40.08 times three. So plus, here we got two times P, right? So two phosphorus. So plus two times uh, 30.97. And then we're going to get 2 times 4 oxygens, right? Which is 8 oxygens times 16.00. And then when we do that, and I'm just going to write it just like how I have this one here. Oh, okay. okay. So 310.18 grams of calcium phosphate per 1 mole of calcium phosphate. Okay? So now we can plug that into our conversion factor just like how it is, because remember we're looking for grams, so we want that at the top, right? Okay, and we want to cancel out our moles, so we want that at the bottom. So we say for every one mole of calcium phosphate, like that. We got 310.18 grams of calcium phosphate. So that will cancel with that, like that. And remember, we're looking for the mass of calcium phosphate. And what, what do we have here? Grams of calcium phosphate. That's the mass, right? Okay, so. All we have to do now is take the numerators, multiply them all the way across, and then divide them by the denominators, okay? So I'm going to take 1.78 and multiply it by 310.18, because 1 and 1 don't do anything to oh, it. Oh, you see you don't have to multiply 163? No, so this is where your problem is going, okay? Oh, okay. So you're going to take 1.78, multiply it by 310.18, okay? So you see how I've done that here? Mm -hmm. Okay, push enter, and I get like 552 something, okay? Then I'm going to take that number and then divide it by 163.94, then push enter, okay? So this is your problem, right? Okay, so we start with so the I'll start this one and divide that whole number by that, okay? And then I get 3.36. Then I'm going to take that number and divide it by 2, because that's the next one over here. Mm -hmm. and then. That number I get, that's the answer, okay? It's gonna be 1.68 grams of calcium.
calcium phosphate. That's your answer. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we're going to kill this video, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you practice calculating these types of things. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Are there any questions besides that last portion of calculation? Oh, no. Because no. everything else, it seems that you're like point on, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Cool, yeah. Okay, that's a really easy problem to figure out. Okay.